check out the novel Bubblegum by me, Sari Torres. Available on Amazon or read for free with Kindle Unlimited. Hi guys, this is Frankie Torres for the Pixel Slayers, and today I'm going to show you how to replace a wiggly joystick on your N64 controller. So let's get this baby open. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a screwdriver and just quickly remove the back screws using some movie magic. The ones um, on the base are pretty simple to remove. There's nothing to it, but the, these ones are could be a little difficult. Um, yeah, you, I would recommend a magnetic screwdriver for this part. And you're just going to go ahead and stick them in there and uh, unscrew these. They're extra long, um, or they feel extra long at least because they're so tiny. So you want to go ahead and just take your time get these guys out. And once those are out, you can go ahead and just pop off the back. Now once the back is popped off, um, you're going to see all this nasty grime. Um, most controllers are going to have this grime. So go ahead and just clean that up. I use an alcohol Q-tip and some baby wipes. First I get the alcohol uh, Q-tip and just kind of go in the grooves and just get all that gunk out of there. My perspective is if you're going to go through the trouble of replacing something, you might as well clean the insides. So that's what I'm doing. So once that's all nice and clean, let's go ahead and get to unscrewing the joystick itself. So there's three screws on the joystick. So we're going to start from the bottom and then we're going to do the sides. Okay, so once the final screw has been removed, you can see you can just easily just lift up on the joystick and it just the whole uh, mechanism will just come up. Be careful here and make sure you clip gently this little uh, trigger here. You want to unclip it very gently. These things are easy to break. So this just snaps right off. You pull up and it snaps out and you can just get rid of that. Go ahead and just uh, look at your contacts, see if they're dirty. If they're dirty, clean them. These are pretty clean, so I'm just going to clean the inside real quick with a wipe. And now once that's clean, I'm going to put the baseboard back on, or the circuit board, and we're going to go ahead and just stick the new joystick mechanism inside. Now go ahead and screw the new one in first. We want to get that mechanism screwed in first, that way it won't be moving around when we're trying to connect everything. Same thing as before, just screw this in. You want to make sure these screws are tight. You don't want to over tighten them, but they need to be tight so it doesn't have any movement. So go ahead and just put this cable in and plug it in, make sure it's plugged in and make sure the wires are out of the way. So I just move the wires slightly and those should be fine there. Now carefully clip the trigger in. Remember what I said before, you gotta watch out for these clips. So just go under that one and then this one just goes right under and there we go. And just double check. Now make sure you put your uh, shoulder buttons that most likely fell off by now back on. Now once that's back on, just check the cable. Make sure the cable's aligned right, make sure everything looks good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you right here, make sure the cable looks like this, otherwise you're gonna get it snagged and it's not gonna go on. The back's not gonna go back on. Okay, so after I triple checked, we're gonna go ahead and just put the back back on. And it just goes right over. Okay, so. We're going to do the screw on the long handle first. It just kind of keeps everything in there. It can look like it's not in there, but it just needs to be screwed in. It's pretty shallow plastic. And then let's screw in the, um, up here. I like to go kind of in a diagonal shape just so we can get it together. Now let's do this handle. And once this is done, we'll do the rest real quick using some movie magic. All right, so go ahead and check, make sure everything feels good after you get all the screws, uh, the big screws in. And if everything feels good, we'll do the hard screws. So magnetic screwdriver, carefully drop the screw into the hole here. It's pretty, pretty hard to do. That's why you really do need a magnetic, magnetic screwdriver for this part. 
Now once that's aligned, go ahead and just start tightening it. And then once that's tightened, we're going to do the next one. And now let's flip it over, make sure uh, everything looks good. All right, and now you're all done and you have a brand new joystick in your old N64 controller. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Hope you found it informative and enjoyable. Thanks for watching. Bye.